Hi everyone, it's MJ and welcome to this introduction video on linear algebra. And we're going to start with a quote coming from a book by Benjamin Peirce called Linear Associative Algebra, written in 1882. And in it he says that mathematics is the science which draws necessary conclusions. The words of common language are usually unfit for mathematics and so symbols must be adopted. The mathematics treated by such symbols is called algebra. Algebra then is formal mathematics. So let's look at algebra. It is the study of structures and it is a foundational branch of mathematics that you most likely covered at school and it's a very general term. What we're going to be doing in these videos is looking at linear algebra, which means we're going to be studying linear structures. So for example, we've got some linear equations, they normally written in the form ax plus b equals zero, or linear maps such as the function of x is equal to y. But now what we can do is we can represent these linear equations and linear maps using vectors and matrices. Now, why do we do this? Well, because it will aid with the computation of many other areas of maths. Not only just geometry, but a lot of applied topics such as engineering, computer science, actuarial science, etc. So very quick history. Uh, it kind of all started with Euclid in, in ancient Greek. Um, ancient Greece where he kind of saw that reality is made up of three dimensions of space. Then in the 17th century we have René Descartes who said you know what we can reduce geometric problems to algebraic computations and that was very very a very big idea to to make and then we'll see from Leibniz to more recently Piano where we formalized the the whole study of linear algebra. So if we had to look at linear algebra, we also need to ask ourselves, well, why do actuaries need it? And I guess the quick answer is to say, well, it makes complex computations easier. And we do see it popping up in many of our different exams, such as financial engineering, survival models, enterprise risk management, and a lot more. And in fact, I'm going to give you a quick little sneak peek of some of the things that use uh, matrices in actuarial science. So we're not going to go into this right now because in these videos, we're just going to be covering the basics. So coming up in the series, we're going to be looking at vectors and vector operations. We're going to be looking at matrices and their operations, as well as what, you know, what are determinants and inverse matrices. We're then going to look at how we can solve simultaneous equations, and we're going to end off with eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So yeah, looking forward to the rest of the videos in the series on linear algebra.